Hi everybody! Today I am going to be doing a pour on this water bottle. Um, it was hiding in my kitchen pantry and I found it the other day. So I thought I would do a pour on it and I put a canvas down underneath just, um, I mean just to catch the paint and whatever. So I've got all my bottles that are, um, that I keep all my paints in mixed and I'm just going to be grabbing whatever colors I think I might want and then I do have um, a green here that I have already mixed. I have some other bunch of already mixed colors so um, we're just going to go I'm just going to try to use up the um, try to use up all the colors that I already have you know if I have some already mixed I'm going to try to use those so I'm actually going to start with a black that I already have mixed and I'm just going to start from the top. I did tape off um, the very top part because I don't want paint on there. So I'm just going to start. out pretty cool so far. There definitely was probably some alcohol. You can also see down in there, maybe you can, there's some, um, there's some uh, lacing starting. So I'm just going to move this and let this drip over somewhere else. this upside down and I'm going to take I have some white left in this cup and I'm gonna just put some colors in there
Okay guys, so I'm going to give you a close-up so you can see the cool details. There's, um, right in here, there's a glare, but right in there you can see the dendrite fractals that formed. There's some small ones right there in the white too, but in the yellow and black, there's uh, quite a few. You can see the other details. I love how the um, the swirls in the black look really pretty there. And then of course the um, the details that's going on here. It's a few cells and some lacing. Some cells, a little few in there. Anyway, turned out pretty good. Um, and then the um, the bottle, you can actually see it's doing that from the alcohol. But I, I like it because I think it's going to give it um, just a cool effect on there. So when it's all done, I will give you an update on that. So anyway, it turned out pretty good. I'm glad I put a canvas underneath it because you never know what's going to happen. Hey everybody, so I'm back to show you my water bottle. It's all done. It turned out pretty good. Um, I'm really happy with the results. And after I let it dry um, for a couple weeks, then I sprayed it with my metal spray. I've used it on a few other projects. Then I put some vinyl stickers. I spelled my name. Um, I got those on there and then I put two coats of the Duplicolor acrylic clear coat um, directly over the stickers. And then after I let that dry for several hours, then I put a um, two coats actually over the whole bottle. You can see the glitter, the shiny metallic to it. Turned out pretty cool. And then the top I took, um, you can see there's some texture to it. I took gesso and j lightly gessoed the top of that, just like patted it on to create some bumps. And then once that dried, then I spray painted it with a turquoise um, spray paint. Then I used the metal spray on that, and then I used the Duplicolor clear coat on that as well, a couple coats. So I'm really happy with the look of it. I like how the um, alcohol created almost like a crackle uh, look. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm really happy with with it. Now I have my own personalized uh, water bottle and um, I will definitely be using it. So that was something fun uh, to do and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and um, have a great day everybody. Hey guys, I almost forgot to show you the painting. Um, I went ahead and put two coats of Windsor Newton Professional Gloss Varnish on it. And then um, you can see how nice and shiny it turned out. It actually looks really good. It got, you know, it dried a little matte looking. But once I put the spray varnish on, it's brightened those colors right back up. So anyway, not bad. I think it turned out pretty good. And um, thank you guys for watching this video. And don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel.